John Fisher and Mike West. Mornings on 103.7 FM, The Mountain. The following segment contains frank talk about frank sex with Dr. Ruth Westheimer. In that book that you have in front of you, Dr. Yeah. Ruth's Guide for Pregnant Couples, yeah. right. uh, on page 125 is an original position. Like the astronauts who get a star named after them, yes. I now have a position named after me. <laughs> the Dr. Ruth position? Yes. Yeah. Oh, now wait, this illustration, this is not you in this picture though, is no, it? No, <laughs> oh, Man, I would throw my back out with that baby. <laughs> yeah, ouch. Bonnie Raitt. Hey, Bonnie, hello. Hello, I'm back. I was curious if you have any uh, pre-show ritual that you do just before you go on stage. Anything you can talk about publicly. A little means. prayer. Uh, what I can tell you about? Um, <laughs> no, I don't pray. I, like I mean, a, I... Uh, like high five or something? I put on uh, the last bit of spackling. <laughs> I make sure my shoes are tied, my pants are zipped, and I go in the band room and give them a bunch of grief before we go on. George Stephanopoulos, good morning. Good morning. How's it going, guys? Connie Chung. Hi, Connie. Hi, John. Hi, Mike. How are you? Mr. Rogers. Hello, John. John and Mike. Leslie Nielsen. Hello, Leslie. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And how are you? <laughs> Do you have your little friend with you, your friend that you carry around? A friend? Like I'm giving piggyback rides to, <laughs> to various people? Is that what you're implying? What did you just say? I said, do I give a piggyback ride to to various people? Is that what you mean? You do have your little buddy there then, don't you? You can tell me. I'm a doctor. John Fisher and Mike West. Three words. Yeah. Fiber, fiber, fiber. And I'm Tom Brokaw. Coming up on NBC Nightly News, they say dogs' mouths are the cleanest. But how can that be when they so readily eat cat droppings? We'll find out tonight on NBC Nightly News. Immediately following Kick 5 News right here on Circa Park. Sean Mullins on New Music Tuesday, September in Seattle. Taking a train, huh? Huh? He was taking a train. Yeah. You can take a train out of Seattle. Yeah, I just never do that. <laughs> never take a train? Not anymore. Does every song have to be about stuff that you do? No. <laughs> no. A lot of songs talk about things we we don't necessarily do ourselves, no, Mike. Know, That's kind of what's cool about music. I've never had a friend say, hey, could you take me to the train station? It's usually to the airport or the Greyhound bus depot Have downtown. Have you taken the train up to Vancouver, down to Portland? I haven't done that. How about the Spirit of Washington dinner train? People take trains all the time. I can't smoke on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I read like Nicole Starlight like, in The Empire it's Builder. Real. It's like he's singing about alien cloning there or something, Mike. It's just a train. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a, a jingle here in okay. three, two, and a one. Time for sports with Dave Ball. Here's Dick. Well, this is the ball, man. Talking sports. Talking Super Bowl. X. 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 I. I've, X, 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 I, excuse me for that. Uh, too many gosh darn uh, X is a lot more than the, <laughs> what I was just starting out. I'll tell you that much. Carlos Santana, welcome to the mountain. I'm very happy to be here. Cuba Gooding Jr., good morning. Good morning. Good love. Oh. love. <laughs> to all the people in Seattle, much love. Could we liven it up a little bit? Mike, let us go off to far-flung New York City. <laughs> TV boy John Curley is on what we call in the business... A junket. And I've got two movies that I'll be reviewing this weekend. What are yeah. they? Sigourney Weaver and Charlie Weaver. What? She's a high-powered New York attorney who's about to meet her match. Oh, yeah. He's a flatulating carpet installer. Wall to wall has never been this funny. Oh, and wake up, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, they, they got a... <laughs> Kurt Russell and Nipsey Russell. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bungling bank robber who's out of work. He's an out-of-work poet who's a bank teller. Fate brings them together. Bullets tear them apart in rhyme scheme. John Fisher and Mike West on 103.7 FM, The Mountain. I'm not judging them. I'm not uh, labeling them. But they are destroying your potential.